Good morning, everyone. Betty Bear from Betty Bear's Nomadic Travels. Today is episode four, day nine of my tiny house build. Um, I had to take a couple days off. We had some some things going on here that I needed to that were priority, so took a few days off. But anyway, we are getting back to it. I just came from a company in Anderson called Pay Less Building Supply. And they have really good prices. We've bought some uh, material there before. So anyway, um, I've got the roofing. So let me show you what I've got. I've got the corrugated metal. Eight foot, two feet by eight foot corrugated metal. There's a little ridge cap. This is the drip edge right here. Drip edge. And these are the little wiggly boards, whatever they're called. Little wiggly boards. So I've got some screws. I have the butyl tape screws. I also bought a new... This guy talked me into it and I... I, I <laughs> it was like 22 bucks. But anyway, I got a new one of these little guys. He said it is the greatest nipper ever. And I also got some of this stuff called uh, Big Stretch. Let me see if I can show it to you. There you go. Big Stretch. Call conceal for windows, doors, siding, and it stretches as opposed to breaking off or cracks. So anyway, I got some of that. But first thing I'm going to do today is before I get uh, too concentrated on that roof, I have to, um, let me show you what I'm going to do. Right up there, I want to caulk all those. Now, this is the front where the tongue is at. You can see the, there's the tongue. So this is the front part. I want to caulk all of this everywhere right here. I want to caulk it, caulk it everywhere here, all along the top here, because I can see some daylight in there. And I had a very, very um, good friend of mine and a subscriber told me that I need to be really careful and caulk all that stuff in the front because that's the part where the wind is going to come up and when it's windy, it's going to rain and the rain's going to come into all those little cracks and crevices. And so I'm going to do exactly what he said. I'm just going to just smear caulking all over in there, that stretch stuff that I got and seal that the best I can because I want to make sure that when I am driving down the road and it is raining, rain, the wind is not going to kick that rain up underneath all that stuff. So that's my priority right off the bat is that I'm going to do some caulking, get that all done. And, um, and then we're going to hopefully by the end of this afternoon, we're going to work on that roof. So let's give it a try. We're going to start with the caulking. Alrighty, a little update. I got caulked that sucker until I was blue in the face. Uh, it's, uh, it'll dry clear though. I don't know why I picked clear, but I picked clear. So I got that caulked on the front. I got the little uh, backing up here for the, the um, plywood sheets that I'm putting up. I got caulking up here. And I put one coat, except I ran out of stain. I put one coat of stain and this is what it's gonna look like. This one's completely finished. Actually, I need to probably stain that top just a little bit more. But see the difference between, if you can, that one and that one's not stained. But see how less like a zebra it looks? I think it's gonna turn out really nice. And I got a coat of stain on, on a lot of it. But anyway, um, looks like I didn't get, yep, looks like I didn't get any uh, roofing on, but I had to do that. I have to get that fascia on. Let me show you what my fascia looks like. Oh, that's right. I put some stain on my facial. Let me show you what my facial looks like. And I have to put that up because I have to have the um, the drip rail on top of the fascia. So this is what my facial looks like. And I've got a coat of stain on that. And this is what I'm using. I had this leftover, but I think it looked really well. It's called uh, Summer Oak. So that's what I'm putting on. I'm going to go pick up some more of that at Home Depot. 
This is my fascia. I think it looks good, good, good. So I'm going to get um, all the fascia up, and I've got the two front and back fascias up. I'm going to get the sides, one, two, three, four pieces on the sides up, and then I'm going to put the drip rail, then I'm going to put the tar paper, and then I'm going to put the little wiggle boards, the little wiggle boards up there, and I'll put the roofing up there sooner or later. But anyway, it's uh, about 4.30, quarter to 5. It's getting chilly. Actually, actually, guess how cold it got last night here. Got 27 degrees here last night. It was stinking cold. My daughter raises bunnies. And she was worried about the bunnies because they're not used to being cold like this. So she put a little heater in their little bunny pen outside. It was so cute. She's worried about the bunnies getting cold. So anyway, you can tell my mouth is kind of cold because it's chilly now. But anyway, um, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Well, let's do another update. I've got the, uh, I've got the stain on. I didn't, I didn't like it. Let me show you. I don't like it. I like the stain on here. It's a redwood color. I like that but I don't like the stain on here. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might paint it as much as that, oh, as much as I don't want to. I think I might want to paint it brown, like a darker brown. I just don't like that red color, but I do like the red here on the, on the burnt part. So uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I got another idea, guys. Tell me what you think about this one. My choices here on my deck, I'll stand back a little bit so you can see it. There's the choices on my deck. Now, it's a flat deck and it's plywood. It's going to get wet. And you know that it, when the rain, even though I've got the awning up here or the, the porch, which sticks out this way farther, the rain's going to come down, but it's still going to get wet. What do you think if I, I'm such a dork? What do you think if I cut this off, this whole deck off, expose those two bites, and put... Um, decking like a, a, a composite decking on there so the water literally will drain off and I don't have to worry about caulking this making sure that the seal is good so that water doesn't run into the house so I'm kind of thinking in that I'm kind of thinking that that I might cut it all off take it all off because it's screwed I screwed everything on there so I'm thinking about taking it off of there and uh, putting composite decking on there so that's my that's my thinking on that one and I got another thought too, guys. Tell me what you think about this too. You know, I can't sleep at night, so my mind just goes 100 miles an hour. Right here, now right here is the tongue, and I'm going to put, I'm gonna build a box right here. And that's gonna be for my tools and whatnot. So I'm gonna have a box there. But if you think about it, the bed is right here, and it's gonna come up, you know, up here, some kind of a height here. And then I'm gonna have all that storage underneath there. How are we gonna get to that storage? So my thinking is, what if I build a opening right here? Let me get out a little bit farther so you can see it. I can build up, these are 12 inch or 16 centers. So if I built a, like a 32 inch opening here that you can slide your um, um, surfboard, you could slide, not that I got one, but you can slide anything in there. And I would like to get a bike someday so I can slide that bike in there and it'll have a door that flips up like this. And the door will be built out of the same material that I, I'm siding the whole house with. So I'm kind of really, really thinking on that. So I'm going to have to reinforce here. I'll have to put a header here, but I think I'd rather do that now than to find out that I can't get in there because my door, if you remember, my door is 24 inches wide. So that being said, I think I almost have to have a way to get in there. So that's my, um, that's my thinking. Um, I do have all the fascia on all the way up there. I'm missing it. Actually, I, I didn't buy enough of the uh, drip railing that see here. And I went, I got all the way around the whole thing and I'm short. So I had to go all the way into Anderson today and pick up one piece of drip railing. So that took me, that set me back. But I've got all the drip railing up. And let's get up on the ladder and I'll show you. And I've got the tar paper up. So I am... I got to snap some lines and I got to put that wiggly board on. So I got to get that on here and that last piece of drip railing over there. But 
I, I got it. I'm getting close to putting that roof on. I'm really tickled at how the drip railing turned out. My edges, because I don't know what I'm doing, I did some Googling and I think I did it kind of close to being right. So anyway, here we go. So we're on, um, I got to finish that drip railing right now and um, cut the, uh, the corrugated metal to length. And um, I'm going to play with the end piece because they come in eight foot pieces and it's not eight foot up there. So the piece that I cut off, I'm going to set up here and I'm going to kind of play with it to see where, where it's going to end up. So anyway, that's where I'm at and I'll catch you guys when something else happens. So I got the roof up. This is only half the side. The other side, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the other side's not up yet. I ran out of nails. It's not exactly perfect, but it's pretty darn, pretty darn close. I've never worked with corrugated metal before. So it was a learned experience. As you can see, my, my ridge looks close to being the same distance apart. Not quite, but it looks close up there. Well, Ann, you know, <laughs> I kept thinking to myself, well, it's gonna be a piece of cake. It's gonna be a piece of cake. Well, it's not. It's not a piece of cake. I absolutely misinterpreted what I thought I knew, you know, as a carpenter. I'd never done um, a corrugated metal before. I've always done three tabs, so I know how to lay a roof. I've done three tab hundreds of times. So, but this is different. I've never built a tiny house. I've never built, had to worry about uh, uh, earthquakes 24 seven when you're driving down the road. Never had to worry about that. So it's just actually way more simpler. Boy, I'm a, I'm a hot mess, aren't I? It's way more simpler to build a house, even though it takes longer. It's way, way more simpler. And the fact that um, I don't have a plan to look at. I'm just um, winging it kind of thing. That's a, that's a tough thing for me too because I'm used to looking at a plan and the plan says to do this and to do this and this is how high your your uh, your windows are going to be. This is your cripples. This is your kings. This is your you know the headers. The whole thing is all written out in black and white. And uh, this one wasn't. So it was a, it was a learning experience. But um, anyway, I like the way it's looking so far. I really do. And I've the ideas that I have, the few plans that I have. I think I might work. I'm not sure yet about the. Uh, about the deck yet. I think there's quite a few ways to waterproof that, but, but I'm not sure yet. But I do think I need to put a door right there um, for, you know, get in and out of when I have something that might be wider than 24 or something long. So I think, uh, I, think I, might, I might do that one. Well, I think this is where my, my video is going to end. I'm tired today and I'm old, <laughs> you know. I'm going to be 66 pretty soon. Makes me a little nervous, but, you know, I think... Things are going okay, so I'm going to end it right here. I want to get this video in and downloaded so that I can work on the next one. So anyway, if you enjoyed any of this video, if you got a little bit of something out of it, it you know, I, do, I want you to know that I am not a tiny house builder. This is my absolute first one I've ever done. So I'm not a tiny house builder. So don't do what I do because I've totally made so many mistakes. But that being said, if you enjoyed any of this video, give me that little thumbs up, hit that little bell icon, subscribe to the channel if you already have it. And my gosh, guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for, for being here. Um, I do think that once everything's all said and done, I think my tiny house is going to be awesome. I really, really do. I can't wait to get in it and go somewhere. So it's all said and done. I, I'm really going to be excited about it. So thank you guys very much. And I'll catch you guys in a few days. Bye.